Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Let's Play Kingsfield 4th Edition and you guys should be excited for this one just as excited as I am because even though I'm undercut on MP for what I want we're gonna go into the termites nest. First thing I'm gonna run through though. Ha! I didn't fall in. Termites nest ahead. Watch your step. That's actually pretty hilarious. I didn't remember that was what that said. So basically the only way you can read that is if you run past the trap that drops you into the termites nest right here. So, termite right inside the termite's nest trap, ready to go and... Oh my god, paralysis right away. Uh, not off to a good start, apparently. Not at all off to a good start. Let me be! Okay, there we go. So that is the problem with termites, right there. Paralysis. Well, you know what? I, I didn't really want to get paralysis, but I'm glad he did it, because now you guys got to see the real issue with termites because they're not that bad unless they do that and if you were looking at my health i got it for a lot of health so there's seahorses as well so seahorses and termites occupy the termites nest i don't know why seahorses but there's one flying at me right now so i guess uh they just go ahead and I oh and there's a termite falling off the ledge to try and hit me so, when I was a kid, one fell on my head, and I literally jumped, like, off the couch I was on, screaming, because I was so nervous about being in the termite's nest, and... See, the edge detection works pretty well until they fall on your head! Like, that guy right there, see, he's kind of edging off the edge. Kind of edging off, so... I like to try and explore every room, and... I mean, I just go room by room, so... Might as well do that. Man, I feel like this guy's just gonna fall off behind me. And I'm gonna get screwed. I'm trying to avoid that from happening. Okay, so there's a blood ruby there, which is actually pretty useful in the termite's nest because that will cure you of that paralysis they just caused on me. So that is actually very useful here. And wow, I'm doing pretty good against these termites. I guess this uh, go mace thing that I got, this spike ball. So this is gonna be dropping me into another area that you need 10 MP to get out of because you need to warp out of it. It's, as Admiral Akbar would say, it's a trap! Just saying. So I'm gonna drop in it, and we'll come back to the turbine's nest because I want to. I want to do this and get this done because there's magic in here. There'd be magic in these waters, and also these. Uh, so remember these guys from the beginning of the game. Well, now I can actually deal with them, especially because they're not gonna punch me off of the freaking ledge into deep water and kill me. So now I can deal with these dudes, and apparently I kill them in one hit. Jeez. This, this, uh, spiked mace is freaking amazing. What's Morningstar? It's like murdering things. Might as well call it the Murder Star. I, I do a lot of lame jokes like that. It's cool. Get used to it. You're gonna be hearing a lot of them if you're watching this Let's Play. Slash listening to this Let's Play. So, the whole reason to drop down here is to get this water crystal. And there is nothing else out down here. There's no way to get out. I would say I'm trapped. I would say I'm trapped forever, except for... I got my star key, and I got my star key. So, we need 10 MP. So first order of business is use a moonstone. There we go. So I got 40 MP for that, and we're going to use my star gate. Star gate will warp me to the star key. Here we go. And see, it used 10 MP, you can see up there, and here we go, back up to my uh, star gate. And the only thing about this, I'm gonna take it with me because I'm gonna bring it with me. I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. But uh, only thing about this is I could have gotten hit by that snail again from the second Let's Play video. That would have been uh, pretty annoying. But I guess I'm fine. So we're back at Rhombuski World, which not my favorite, but we're we're close enough to the termite's nest. So it's all good. It's all good. We're still by the termite's nest and dealing with dual guys. They're not letting me circle around them. There we go. Strafing around, strafing around. We're gonna do some backstabs. Dark Soul style. Yeah, Soul style. And I'm gonna use an Earth Herb, I think. Even though I probably could just get Blue Potion. I'm gonna use an Earth Herb, it's all good. Alright, heading back. I'm gonna go ahead and start running back. I just like dealing with enemies that are in front of me, even though I do want to get back quickly for you guys. Because I'm like, they're in front of me! I have to deal with them, they're right there. I have to. I will ignore this dude to go through here. Just for you guys, normally I wouldn't have, but just for you. Because I know you're excited about the termite's nest, I know. I know you're excited about it and you'd be mad at me if I was dealing with all those guys, because I, I teased it. 
I'm a tease. I was like, here's the termite's nest, and by the way, bam, blam, I'm warping out of it. There's two guy, two of these guys here, guys. You gotta, you gotta give me it. I got, I gotta do it. I have, I, I have to kill them. They're here. They have to be taken care of. It's Necron's, Necron's axe men. It's just that you know, Necron's a giant bag of D, and I gotta take care of all of his men because they're jerks. Necron is a giant jerk taking over this island. There's all these pleasant people without faces living here. I mean, look at this lady. She's lost her son, Sander. She's lost her son, Sander, who probably inherited her unfortunate trait of not having a face. <laughs> it's an unfortunate disease going around this town. So I'm going to drop off my key here, even though I'm not going to actually use it here. No, screw it. I'm holding on to it. Screw it. I'm going to hold on to it. And actually, I'm not going to save. Not even going to save. I'm just going to... You know what? I'll drop off my key now, because I'm not saving. I gotta have a quick way out, just in case. Just in case, let's do it for safety's sake. Because you never know what can go down when you go down into the nest. So, back in the termites nest. Back in here, and I don't think there's any secret passages here. I could be wrong, but I don't believe so. Man, I'm just murdering these termites with their emerald eyes. This guy dropped a crystal. Pretty sweet. Thanks, John. Yeah, so this area is a little bit easier than I remembered it being. I, I don't know if I've gotten better at this game or if it's just this morning star is rocking faces off. Or rocking termites' faces off. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Alright, this is going to take me upstairs. What if I drop back in here just to be a jerk and I'm like, oh, whoops, I didn't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right, we that one goes upstairs, so I'll come back to that, and we'll, we'll explore the upstairs later. I want to deal with all the downstairs first. Uh, okay, so apparently there's a trap that will lead to this part and drop you, so that is what that is. So we have found a trap. And really, it's these sound effects that really, I think, made this area freaky. Plus, it's like the termite's paralysis is a big deal because it does totally screw you over if you can't deal with it. Um, it, it hurts you for a lot, and you're stuck there for a while. And I don't think I realized when I was a kid that blood rubies could cure you of paralysis, so I was just in place screaming, spamming my earth herbs. Really just screaming. Man, this upstairs, this downstairs does not really hold a lot. I guess there's that water crystal, which I didn't use. You guys were probably screaming at me, Dave, you picked up a water crystal, why aren't you using it? And I'm like, guys, I forgot. I didn't even know I had it. I'm feeling kind of brainless right now. Uh, okay, so I got Dispoison. So, if I get poisoned, instead of using Mathidote, I can use Dispoison. Uh, alright, that's fine. I don't know if it was... Well, I guess it was worth it. You know what? I like having everything. I'm a collector. So I guess it was worth it. I guess. Uh, alright, back to the entrance. So, I guess that means... It's time to go upstairs. Oh! Oh, there we go! Turn my popped off! At least it wasn't on my head. I will not let that go. I think that scarred me for life. I always look up now. Always- Ah! Oh, another termite popping off! Guys, seriously, learn your edge detection. Stop falling off ledges. You're freaking me out. You're freaking me out! Oh, cool. I, I was thinking, like, I missed one. That's why, because I did. And, man, this guy just murked me up. Uh, I want to use Earth Heal, because it heals me for more. Not this poison. Get out of my way. Earth heal. Yeah. Um, yeah, and if you notice, yeah, I'm trying to swing at them before they hit me. And kind of, you stun them when you hit them. So that's kind of a good strategy. You just have to time it right. Otherwise, they will hit you and you will look like an idiot and all your friends will laugh at you. And then you'll start crying. So don't mess up your hits. Don't mess up your hits. Don't let them hit you first. Okay, check it out. I, I want to talk about this because this is a dragon tree, I believe. Um, it could have a different name. And there we go. Okay, so there are secret passages in the termite's nest after I said there weren't. The Mirror of Truth! What do you know? The Mirror of Truth. Uh, maybe I need to go back around and look for secret passages. But before I do, check out this dragon tree. So if I use the Mirror of Truth on it, so the Mirror Truth basically tells you what everything is. So it's a good item that get the Truth Glass. 
So see the termites nest. Okay, now it's telling me where I am. I think you're supposed to. I thought you told me what, like, describe things that were in front of me. I still think it is. It does. Describe what's in front of me. You're supposed to tell me this is a dragon tree. Whatever. Okay, so anyways, these, these trees grow dragon crystals. That's why I'm calling it a dragon tree. It could have a different name, but I think uh, it's a dragon tree. So, okay, here we go. See? See that up there? There's a dragon crystal growing. And I I always thought when I was a kid that you had to hit it, and that's what made it grow, This the dragon crystal. I could be wrong. It could just be a time thing. But, um, you know what? I started hitting it. And it's about this size, so I'm going to come back to it and check for secret passages in some of these downstairs areas. And uh, if it's a time thing, maybe we'll save some time there. And we'll come back and it'll be ready. If it's not, then I'll start bashing it into pieces and be like, Screw you, Dragon Tree, give me your crystal! And I'll just keep on bashing and bashing it. I really don't think... Like, I actually remember that secret passage. That was just kind of a memory-based one. Alright, that's going to lead me upstairs. Um, that was just kind of a memory one, and I really don't think I remember any specific other secret passages. But I feel like just in case I should, that guy's gonna drop off totally. One of those guys is. There we go. That's the only thing, is like me going back and doing this. I'm like, there's gonna be a termite that's just gonna fall down behind me, and I'm gonna get screwed. That's my, my concern, or he's gonna fall on my head, because I'm against this wall. Um, yeah, so anyways, termites, man, termites, and seahorses. So, yeah, I, th I think, I think the dragon crystal might be ready by the time we get back, but we'll find out. If it's not, then it's a bashing it into pieces thing, and being like, hey, you're the giving tree, and referencing that book back in the day. That was kind of a depressing book, if you guys ever read it. The kid just uses and abuses the tree. Uses and abuses. Such a good book, though. At the same time. Clearly, I'm <laughs> running out of things to talk about if I'm talking about The Giving Tree. Really, I wasn't planning on making a Let's Play video tonight at all, but I really wanted to play Kingsfield, and I was like, crap, well, if I play Kingsfield, I have to make a Let's Play video of it because that's kind of the uh, what I started doing. So I was like, alright, I'll make a Let's Play video of this, of playing Kingsfield while I'm doing this. So... I gotta come up with more material to talk about. Alright, let's see how our dragon crystal is doing. And it has dropped. So, okay, there we go. It's a time thing. You might have to hit it to start it out, so maybe that's a secret. But our dragon crystal has dropped. So, pretty awesome. And again, I think I said it in the last video, but I'll say it again. If you use a dragon crystal, that's going to... Um, it's going to make you warp to the next... Um, it's gonna wake you warp back to that fountain area if you die. Sorry, if you die, it warps you back to the fountain area and uses one. So you lose it, but you also you warp back to the fountain area. You can heal up your health, and you don't lose all of your experience and all that. However, if you use it, it cures you for I believe full MP and full HP. So it's very useful in battle as a last resort. So you kind of just have to decide what, what you want to use it for. I think they're pretty much one of the best healing items in the game. So that's why those dragon tree things are pretty awesome. And actually, I want to use a uh, mirror glass truth. I keep wanting, wanting to call it mirror truth. The truth glass on this guy, see if it calls it a termite. Just because I'm curious to see why it's not working for me. There we go. So termite. An insect type monster. There are millions of termites swarming around each nest. And this would be the termite's nest of the game. Oh man, that, that uh, attack didn't seem to hit it. It's a good thing he missed me as well. The seahorse hit me, by the way. That was what that why I had, I'm a little bit lower in health. That was that god darn, gosh darn seahorse. Flying around, up and down, everywhere. Every time you hit one, it knocks them down. So you just have to hit it once and it'll be pretty doable. Pretty manageable. Okay, so I think this is where I came up, right? Yes, this is where I came up. Alright, so let's start going around the circle. We already know the downstairs area pretty well. And, um, there's gotta be a trap around one of these areas. There's just gotta be, because <laughs> if you remember... Oh, rhombus key! Alright, we got a rhombus key, and here is that exit. So, um... Remember last video I was saying there was an exit from the termite's nest? Here it is. So you can get out. That's the exit. 
I actually thought that you had to be the boss to get out, so I guess my memory was a little messed up there. But that would be the exit right there. So if you want to get out, you're afraid of the termite's nest. That's your that's your ticket out. Ticket out of the termite's nest. Let's pick up 30 gold here, and that might be the drop down direction. I don't remember. And that would be me missing. I do know know that. I'm missing this guy like crazy. Well done, termite. Well done, sir. Uh, this might be the boss. They can be attacked by bows. Take good aim. Uh, no, so... Alright, boss is through there, possibly. Let's go to this area I missed. Are you just gonna walk off away from me? Don't, don't fall off while I'm trying to kill you. Dude, you're floating. You're flying! You can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Termites have magical powers. There's also giant jumping spiders in this game, which are freaky as all hell. Not a fan of them. Not a fan. So these termites keep on popping out because basically there's a mommy termite who keeps on having babies constantly, and that is the concept. So I'm gonna run across there just to show you that's where that trap was, that trap door we saw before. And I believe mommy termite is in that door right up ahead. I'm not gonna go there yet because I want to finish my exploration quest. All right, get some crystals, shard, uh, crystal shards. Those aren't this good. I think you use them for arrows or something like that. And I'm checking for secret passages, even though I don't think there are anymore. I really think that I used the only one. I'm pretty positive. All right, we should be uh, over by the staircase that we saw. Now we should be close. So let's see. Uh, this is yeah. So here's the staircase. And oh wait. What? Um, did I just circle back around the wrong way? Oh my god! Oh, whoa! Turbine, what are you, what's up, man? Okay, so imagine that happening on your head. That's what happened to me when I was a kid. So, whoa, there's another one. Jesus. You guys, like, I'm, I'm, comf I'm comfortable. I'm confident in the termite's nest, but I, I don't appreciate this falling all around everywhere. Like some leveling up. What the fuck? Funk it. Oh, okay. I know where I am now. So I guess I did just end up back at that ramp somehow. I went the wrong way or something. Because I, I thought I was going to the other staircase. I got lost. I'm sorry about that. I, I don't know how that happened. Huh. Huh. Okay. That's just fine then. So let's go this way this time. So we go this way. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess... That staircase must just lead into this big room then. So maybe that's the case. Alright, so I thought this big room was just straight to the Mama, Mama Thermite, but I guess there's a couple directions you can head. So, let's check it. Check around. Bones actually might be a trap. I, I have this feeling. Let's find out. There's arrows, and is there a trap around here? No. There's a trap somewhere close. This is... Oh, this might be where the trap is. Maybe? That's where a termite just messed me up. Alright, I'm gonna use this earth herb that he gave me. I'm gonna use that sucker right away! I'm running, because I feel like there's gotta be a trap door around here, because I think I saw another one. Um, okay. Alright. Uh, where the... F where is that staircase? Where is it? Yeah, so here's the termite queen, and I'm not gonna go to her yet, because, um... I am just really confused as to where this staircase led to where I saw that trap door. Maybe that's all it leads to. Maybe it's just, like, literally to that trap door. Uh, that could be all it is. Ha! Wow, yeah, that's all that was. Well, there we go. I'm an explorer, guys. I'm like Christopher Columbus, but not an asshole. And actually discovering things that weren't already discovered by Marigold Vescargo, whose name I think I just said incorrectly. I'm an explorer. That's my only point. Alright. The world is round, boys and girls and ladies and gents. The world is round. Blow your mind. Uh, okay, I think it's this one. If it's not this one, it's the one next to Okay, I was right. I was right, I get a million points of my own made-up currency and determination of how I earned a million points. Every time I guess only right, a million points. 
every time I get something wrong, negative 100,000 billion points. All right, let's go to the Termite Queen. Let's do it. We are on the way. And this is, um, I think this is our first big boss, this Termite Queen. I think this is the first big boss, because, uh, let's see. The giant Kraken we ran into, but we didn't face. Okay, here we go. Ready? This is how you fight the giant termite. So remember I was talking about the bow? We're gonna equip this bow, and we're gonna say, I'm gonna stand away, and I'm just gonna shoot you like that. That's all I got. Boom. What you want, termite? Termite mother? That's how I'm gonna get you. And these guys actually get stuck on that wall, and they only respawn while the termite mommy's alive. So, yeah, it's a little cheap. I know, I know. But I, I don't know, whatever. You know what, they could have, honestly, they could have made us these guys respawn and just keep on coming out of here. So, okay, there we go, killed it. Also, it happens to, uh, I think it's stronger against the termites anyways than my Morningstar, which is crushing them. But uh, that was probably the most difficult boss you've ever seen. I'm, you can call it an exploit. I don't know. If you guys think that was an exploit, tell me in the comics. I, I kind of think of it in the comments, not in the comics. Tell me in the comments that you think it was an exploit, I guess. But I kind of think of it as like, you know what? It's part of the game. I'm, I'm fine with it. And the termites come out of those holes. That's where they respawn and come out of. But not anymore. Because I killed their mom. <laughs> ah, I'm a terrible. I'm terrible. I killed their mom. It's kind of depressing. Alright. Gonna get this earth herb. Earth herb. I mean earth crystal. Let's see what it gives me. We don't have much offensive magic, so maybe we'll be offensive. That would be pretty sweet. Let's see. Oh, it's offensive. What do you know? It's going to be stone. Oh, that's a, that's a powerful spell. I'm going to equip it. That's why it costs 7 MP. What's up, Sander? No, I'm not saving you. Just kidding. Jo okay, fine. I'll save you. Thanks, pal. They tried to eat me. I couldn't leave because that big guy was blocking my way. Thanks, buddy. I will give you the key that I can found on the beach. You can find a great treasure with it. And that is the pirate's key. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pirate's key. My dream is to sail around the world. I know my mom won't let me, but I'll, I will do it anyway. Kid, I was just on a pirate, like a boat wreck on the way here and everybody died except for me. But I support your dream. My mom must be worried about me. What's that? My mom must be worried about me. She is. She is. I told her you were dead. If you watched my last Let's Play video, I told her you were dead. You know what I'm really curious about? I bet 100% you can kill him. I really, because you can kill everybody else. I wonder if you kill him if he doesn't get rescued. And the and you have to end up killing his mom to move forward in the game. I really wonder. I really, where, what dark places has my mind entered? I'm clearly in a very dark place tonight. It was a, it was a long and busy day at work, okay? Yeah, cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. But seriously, has anyone done it? If you guys have played Kingsfield before and you've tried, I, I can't bring myself to murder a kid, I just can't do it. But I really wonder. I'm really curious. Okay, so I had two options. I could have warped out if I wanted to using my key. But I'm going to save MP. I'm going to save some MP, and I'm going to exit this way. And we're going to go back to the town. We're going to go back to the village, and everyone's going to be like, we like you now. So check it out. The mom is now gone. Before we go to her, let's go to Kel Hunt, who's not going to be blocking the door with his non-fat-ass Al Hunt way. See, now he's over here. What's up, Kel Hunt? Necron, Necron is a nice guy. He gives us daylight and food, but everyone has to work in the mine for that. What that anyway? Me? I don't have to work there because I'm a good friend of Kelphy. So okay, interesting. So okay, so I didn't realize that daylight's actually caused by Kelphy. So not Kelphy by Necron. So that's why these specific village areas have daylight. Otherwise, it's always nighttime, probably by some sort of curse. So that is an interesting thing that I've learned here. Sandler gave you something, right? Kelphie wants to buy it for a good price. You'd better sell it. Uh, wow, he's like almost like a bouncer, this man right here. This man is a bouncer. My brother Al can't be helped. All he does is eat. 
He's looking for food near the underworld. Who thinks there is food in the underworld? Blah, 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 blah. He didn't laugh, but in Dark Souls, every character laughs, so now I'm implementing that to this. I, I give him food sometimes, but he has forgotten to say thank you, lady. Lee. Blah, 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 blah. It's just a funny thing about Dark Souls. Seriously, everybody in Dark Souls laughs. So again, why was the one house not labeled with their name? So I wonder if this is Kelty then. If you, that's whose house, even though it's Kel Hunt's house. You're new around here, aren't you? You have come to find my crystals, haven't you? Buy my equipment if you don't want to die. Okay, what do you have? What you got? Morning star? I already have a morning star. Bastard sword. Whoa! That looks amazing. I really want it, and I can afford it. But I can probably find it, so I'm not going to buy it. I already have a bow. I used it for the termite, buddy. Nice helm. Great helm. He's got some awesome looking stuff, I gotta say. But I think I can find it all, which is what's awesome about this game. So let's get the rest of his dialogue. All the equipment was made in the Granatiki. Although the equipment was created by humans, there are many good items. So, okay, humans were making these items, even though as opposed to elves or dwarves, which I think make a lot of them in this game. Each monster has certain characteristics. You must choose the best weapons to fight them with. You need to build up your arsenal. If this isn't Kelphie and it turns out to be Leon, I'm going to be a little sad. I can't get enough crystals nowadays. Oh, well, I can give you crystals. I wonder how much crystals are worth, actually. So I could sell a bunch of things if I wanted to. Look, Verdite, worth so much money, seriously. Dragon crystals worth a decent amount. Truth glass, I'm not selling you. And I got a lot of crystals. Not selling them. You can make crystal flasks out of them. I am not doing it. But what I will do is use the... Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the truth glass to find out who he is. You, This is Kelphie. There we go. It's Kelphie Foss. A merchant in Dark Elf who is more than 400 years old. His best customer is Necron. Foss is the only one who supplies the villagers with their daily necessities. Oh. Oh, he's aligned with Necron. So he must not be a good dude then, if he's aligned with Necron. So I actually never knew that. I, I never really thought to use the truth glass on all the characters, to find out the truths about them. So, alright, let's find out about um, Kel Hunt, the twin brother of Al Hunt. Kel used to be a farmer in his country. He came to the island with Al. Even though he doesn't work, he's better off here because it is said that he does business with Dark Elf. Apparently a little bit of English there. Uh, okay, so I guess Kelfie's a Dark Elf. And that's, there we go why Al Hunt was having uh, issues with Kelfie. There's the relation right there. It's because Al Hunt and Kel Hunt are wanting to impress Kelfie. And actually, it was that dude, that like elf dude was popping up. He was always talking about Kelfie, actually. So now we know who Kelfie is. I'm pretty, pretty excited about that, actually, because I never knew. I never knew. So let's go ahead and go this direction now that we're allowed to. And heal up. All right. That is what's awesome. But with this poison water that allows you to never leave the island of melanin, whatever. All right, crystal flask. Get some blue potion. And let's see. All right. Before we go that way, let's go through all the houses. Who lives there? Cliff Lore. Cliff Lore's not home, but he has treasure that's locked. Can my pirate key open it? Probably not. Probably gonna be silver or gold key by the looks of it. That'd be my guess, but I might as well try. Wrong key. That's okay. That's what I'm saving up for. Um. All right. Krola and Sandler live here. Apparently, they don't have a husband. So speaking of which, what's up, baby? How's it going? How's it going, honey? Thank you very much for saving Sandler, but. Don't believe anything he says. He's just a child. Baby, you've been thinking about things all wrong. Let me tell you how it is. I'm worried about that Sandler will get into more trouble. I hope Gigi is here, but I can't do anything because the bridge that East Village is like that. Oh, so that bridge that's down that we looked at earlier. That we can either use Harvine's flute to get across or race from the other side. That's, that's the bridge where Gigi lives to the East Village. He's okay now, but I have to keep my eyes on him. Uh, there we go. So I was gonna say, baby, let me tell you all about me saving him. I don't know if you know this, son, but uh, I actually saved your son. All right, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. What's up? What's up? 
My mom was so mad at me that she told me that I couldn't go out. I was going to save Gigi to tell her all about my her about my adventures. Yeah, you kind of went right into the termites nest, buddy. Did you use that key? Because I cannot go to the ocean. Please find the treasure. I think I need the skull key first, or I need to fight and kill the giant kraken. One of those two. Did you see the bridge on the west seaside? I couldn't jump across it, but I think there might be something over there. On the west seaside. I wonder which bridge he's talking about. That's that's um where I came from. That's the start of the game. Maybe that's where like I went to get the fire crystal. That might be what he's talking about. I heard that Uncle Leon's mother is a high elf. Do you know what a high elf is? Is she great? Well, she's clearly pretty high, if you know what I'm saying. Gigi got her pendant from Leon. Her father has the same one. I want a pendant like that. You got a lot to say, Sander. Wow, he's got a lot. A lot of info. There are poles like crystals near base number two, between here and Gigi's place. I think those poles are laid to King Harvine somehow because I saw patterns. Dude, this kid knows his stuff. He knows it. His mom's all wrong. I wonder how Gigi is doing. I want to see her. Let's find out the truth. Let's find out the truth about you, Sander. I just want the truth. So, let's see. Sandler Amgun. Alright, Sandler is a child who plays around the underworld, posing as an explorer. He has found a key on the beach, and he went to a cave to hunt for another treasure. By cave, do you mean termite's nest? Alright, let's find out about his mama. I, you know what? Her, she's probably a widow maker. She's probably a widow. Krola came from a seaside town called Kami with her whole family to hunt for crystals. Her husband was killed in an accident. Called it. She's a widow. She now takes care of crystal miners. I mean, that's just like in this land. That yeah, that's just expected. I mean, everyone's just been dying left and right. They've been dying like flies, crystal miners. Seriously, if you go to the big mine, you'll know why. Purchase, manufacture crystal, Rad Bilheim. Alright, Brad, what's up, buddy? Oh, Rad is awesome. He's totally rad. Totally rad. Alright, so let's see. Let's go ahead and use the truth crystal. Uh, the truth mirror. Truth glass. Rad Belheim, a crystal crafter. Rad is making crystal bottles that will hold the magic water which controls the poison. He oh, control the poison. So the blue yeah, that blue water, you need that to survive. That water. He learned crafting techniques from Leon, but he cannot work as well as Leon can. So let's go ahead and talk to him. I can make you something really valuable if you have crystals. Crystal flask or arrows for the bow. Let's stock up on some crystal flasks. What else you got to say? Crystal flasks have strange powers. They can draw recovering water, but they can't draw regular water. Oh, I didn't even know there was... Oh, so I guess the regular water is the ocean water. I'm the only one who can make those bottles. Yeah, and that's why I'm buying you out with all my crystals. I'm making arrows with the remains of crystals. I'm sure that I'll need these because there are flying monsters out there. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. I'd rather have crystal flasks. And I'm gonna save some crystals because I feel like I think you either use crystal flasks or you use regular crystals to get something even bigger and better. So just in case I'm gonna save some, but might as well stock up on some crystal flasks because um, we can draw some healing water. It's really, really useful to have as much as possible because I don't have to be like blowing through earth herbs or blowing through my magic. And I mean, look, we got we got five total crystal flasks now, so we're we're pretty balling here. And I blazed through that termite's nest. I actually think this is probably the fastest I've ever played this game. Probably because I'm not saving and going back and re-exploring areas because I'm doing this as a let's play. It's working out pretty well, gotta say. I, I wasn't expecting this to go this smoothly. I mean, I knew, knew it would be like butter, but I didn't know it would be this buttery smooth. Uh, and now it's not because I totally got lost and forgot where I was going. Oh, well this is where I want to go. David Tabler is supposed to live here, but he's not here. He ain't here. Where is he at? I don't know. So I got two options. I can go back to the west side and use the pirate's key. Or I can keep on going and exploring these areas. And I'm going to go ahead and explore a bit first. Uh, actually, what's up this way? Oh. Yeah, this this is Harvine's castle. Um, yeah, alright. Uh, before I do that, I want to go up here. And see the other area that I could have gone to. 
and then we'll actually go through go ahead and go through Harbon's castle, I think. I think that'll be the uh, the rest of this probably today's let's play is Harbon's castle. However, I do want to explore this other area that I was presented with. Okay, so I came through here, went to the right, and if I go to the left, was there another area I could have explored? Yes. Let's go upstairs. Oh, okay, it's a sealed area, so I'm going to need to have, a, or not accepted area. So, not accepted, I think, means that you need a special uh, sword to get through. So, just want to, you know, double check, explore everything. So, we're good. We're good to go to the next area. And I'll come back to the Pirates Bay later when I feel like I'm ready and I have everything that I need so we can make... You know, we don't have to do too much retracking. Just for the sake of a let's play. So, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go through here. So, you're going to hear a lot of sounds. And those sounds are coming from these walls. They're actually night dudes in the walls who shoot fireballs. And they shoot wind cutters at you. And they have, they're very strong. And they will murder your face if you give them the opportunity. I am not going to do that yet. I don't think my character is a high enough level or ready to kill them yet. And I have not saved in a long time. So not a good idea. We just got a nice play though. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty exciting. And I, I still don't have anything for my hands. I gotta, I gotta get that. And so here you heard a fireball, wind cutter. These are guys in there that you want to deal with when you're going back and forth with magic and attacking them. So you just constantly stun them. That's the, the way to kill them is to stun lock them. So we're going to go over this way. You can see there's um, skeletons without heads there. There's reaper skeletons. And if you look down, we got lava. So do not want to fall down in this area. I'm pretty positive there's no secret passages. Where's this going to lead to, though? I don't remember this. Hmm. Going to a new area, obviously, since uh, it's got a load. So... Okay. All right. Oh. Oh no. All right. If I had another dragon stone, that would be a shortcut, so I could just easily get through here. So I, uh, I just need another dragon stone, so I can start using all these shortcuts to gain through places faster. All right. Well, that's good to know. So that'll be the other thing when I go back to is I want to make sure I have all my dragon stones to use, which maybe you get actually at the Pirates Bay area, because I feel like I had gold potion at this point. But, uh, whatever. That's okay. Let's go ahead and explore Harvin's Castle, because then we're going to open up a next shortcut from the east side to this side. East side to the west side, anyways. So it's all good. We got some skeletons. Let's let's throw a rock at him. Ha! Threw a rock at your face, and I healed, killed you right away. Actually, I guess I threw it at his back. That wasn't at his face. I'm a lot straight up lying right now. Alright. Another skeleton. I thought, I thought we were at the Reaper ones, but I guess not. Uh, there's a little bit of slowdown here. Uh, it's too bad with the PS3 that it doesn't stop a lot of the slowdown. I mean, it, it is part of the game to me because I'm so used to it, but I think that's why a lot of people didn't like it, so that's a little sad. The castle of the great ruler of the northern continent, King Harbine. So his castle had a moat of lava. <laughs> that just, that's not just any normal moat, that's a moat of lava. That's a pretty crazy moat. Oh, okay, so notice that my magic, my MP meter is filling up way slower. So it actually fills up uh, different speeds after you run, depending on the last magic you use. So it's actually kind of smart to do something like the Earth Heal, which is going to make it speed up how quickly it heals, as opposed to a um, what I was using, as opposed to stone, which you see now it's going to take forever to load. I think you just dropped a Night Sword, which is worth a lot, or Short Sword. Yeah, so that's, that's better than uh, Dagger Drop. So yeah, a lot of enemies do have random drops. Oh god, I forgot about these dudes. Um, do I think I can kill them right now? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not going to try. Uh, actually, that didn't hurt me for very much, did it? I guess I probably could kill them if I wanted to. Uh, alright, you guys convinced me. I'm gonna go for it. You guys have convinced me by not saying anything at all, and that's me just talking to myself. Thank you guys for telling me to risk my entire life and everything to do this. I know it was all you guys who told me to do it. Totally. Okay. So now this guy's going to block all the hits for me. Never mind. I killed him. So he can't block the hits for me. Uh, okay. So these guys aren't... I'm doing good. It's probably my knight's armor that's helping me out against these guys. And I still need two hits. 
I call these guys genies. I think they are genies, if I remember properly. I always call them genies. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that's right. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use my magic right now, because I want it to heal, really go up faster. I'm sick of running and it taking forever to store up. So, let's use my light crystal. Let's see what it's gonna give me. Gimme, give gimme. Give Actually, it's not a light crystal. It's a wind crystal. Because I think Harbine is associated with wind. Um, I, I believe. If I'm, I could be wrong. I could be totally off base, but I'm pretty sure Harbine is associated with wind. Wind. So I got Missile Shield. So Missile Shield helps you guard you against any projectile attacks. It's not specifically for like fire. It's I, I think it's other projectile attacks, but it's definitely it's totally useful. It's very useful uh, to have. All right, into Harbine's Castle. So. When I first started, I did not- Oh no, ghosts. My worst enemy. They're here. Ugh. Alright, anyways. When I first started, I didn't realize. I thought when you hit them, you just stunned them. And that was how you got across. You just stunned them and ran across. Uh, well, it turns out, if you hit them enough times, they die. Apparently two times. I'm really powerful. I don't know how I'm so powerful when I have not at all grinded. Which is actually kind of cool, I, I have to admit. I mean, I do grind in RPGs a lot of times to feel like the most powerful ultimate badass, but it's kind of nice to have a game where you can just do the natural progression, feel like it's getting harder, and you don't have to grind. So kudos, kudos to FromSoft for actually doing a good job balancing this game. Where I didn't have to grind, but this area would have been way too hard for me if I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, I'm not going to go in the direction of the ghosts, because screw you ghosts, screw you guys with everything ever. Ever. I hate ghosts. Fiery passion, I hope they fall in the lava and burn forever. That's what I, that's how I feel about them. So this right here is a little bit of a shortcut. Uh, if you use the Harbine's key, that's how all these doors open. They're all locked by the Harbine's key. I, um, that would have opened that locked door on the other side. That's really all that is. And then the, the center area, again, locked by the Harbine's key. That one that was locked that I couldn't get into. I guess I could run through this. I mean, seriously, like really, I didn't just run. Uh, right. What's up, skeleton? What's up, skeleton? He doesn't even know I'm here. Yeah, I'm rocking this. I was totally ready for this area. I was actually kind of concerned. I didn't, I didn't voice it, but I was pretty concerned that I might not have been ready for this area. It's kind of thing like, ooh, this is Dave. You're making this choice. What if, uh, what if you embarrass yourself and just completely die? And it seems like it was fine. I'm not having any trouble at all. Except for against ghosts, like always! I hate these ghosts. I hate you. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh, yourself, ghosts. I hate you guys. I hate you! Come back here. Come back here. Ah, oh, they... oh, man, Morningstar isn't doing much against them. I guess because they're a corporeal being. Uh, I don't think there's anything over here, really, unless you have the Harbine's key, honestly, but I'm gonna go explore it anyways, because, what did I say? We're like a good version of Christopher Columbus, who's not a douchebag. Alright, I got darked, so this is a good chance to show off the light spell when I finish off this stupid ghost! And I really hope he doesn't cause slow on me, because then I'll cry. How did that- that was three hits. That was three hits, ghost. You were supposed to be dead. I hate you so much! I seriously hate you so much. By the time I kill him, my dark's gonna have worn off. No! Come back here! This is like an epic fight. Seriously. Okay, there we go. I got him. Let's use light, just to show you. It's gonna change the color of the screen too, which is the one kind of annoying thing about it. This may a little more yellow, but look, I can see now, even though it's dark, and actually I think dark just wore off and it got really bright. But, uh, it's, it's definitely super useful if that spe spell gets cast on you and you're annoyed and you want to see a little bit better, light was the way to go. So, you know what, it was all for the best, I was able to show you guys the light spell. So we're just going to finish exploring this area, even though there's probably nothing here. There really, yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, wait. Uh, alright, I'm just going to dodge these guys, because ghosts don't feel like it. Alright, yeah, that was it. Um, okay, so... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty positive that there is no way to get in there. Harbine's Castle, by the way, on the inside is a pretty difficult area. At least I had trouble with it my first time through. But uh, his outskirts not too bad. And if you have his Harbine, uh, the key, the flute, you can get up to the rooftops. 
but I don't have it. So we'll, we'll be coming back here. I mean, really for right now, it's just a way to get through. There's not much to do with it yet, but it's an area to come back to and to note. Armas Castle is an important area to go to. Actually, I think it might be the way to the final area of the game. You might have to go through Harvest Castle. Alright, so to the right there, I'm pretty sure that's the way to go. So we're going to go this way, because you always go the wrong way first. If you're a 100 percenter, and that's what I am. I'm going to use the final bit of my magic to not kill these guys, apparently. That was fantastic. Alright, let's kill this ghost. Okay, it looks like my light spell ran out. It's fine. Ugh, ghosts. Ghosts everywhere! Ghosts and Reapers. Actually, you know what I'm really curious about? I've never used my truth glass on the ghosts. Never done it, so let's uh let's see what it has to say. Ghosts that appear in certain areas, if they touch you, you will be paralyzed. I know that, that's why I hate them. And they will cause dark on you. And now they've paralyzed me. Oh, I hate these ghosts. Ah! Just because of this paralysis thing. If it weren't for the paralysis, the dark doesn't bother me that much. I'm pretty lucky here that the Reaper got stuck too, actually. The Reaper getting stuck was a fortunate turn of events. Because I can't move at all. And I still haven't killed either of these ghosts. This is really bothering me! Alright, ghosts. I'm gonna take care of you one slow move at a time. Alright, there we go. Made a mouth. Let's go ahead and heal up, and then we'll take care of this Reaper. I think there's actually a giant bashing club in this area, which is super powerful. Uh, yeah, there it is. What do you know? I, I actually didn't notice it. I just remembered it being there. Giant bashing club. We're going to use you. Gi I think it's a war hammer. Battle hammer. Yes. Let's see what its attack is. Strength. 94 chop, so it's specifically going to work well on enemies who are weak to chop. If they're not weak to chop, it's not really going to do much for us. I could use a blood ruby here. I don't really want to, but I could. Wow, that was awesome. That just crushed, devastated that reaper. Who actually, now that I think about it, I really want to use my truth glass on the reaper to scout this too. I'm having fun. I don't think I really did this when I played when I was a kid. Like, just use the Reaper Glass, because I'm finding out a lot about the lore by doing this stuff on these enemies. Like, especially on the characters. I know I've used them on enemies before, but I never used them on characters before, like the friendlies. So let's see what the Truth Glass has to say about this dude. Scythe. So, alright, I was calling him a Scythe. A death created by the Mage of Fire. He has high intelligence and possesses many kinds of magic. A large scythe can paralyze your body. Oh, that was a miss, and he just walked right through that. Probably a good idea to uh, heal up right now. Probably. I don't think, uh... Oh, no, I did die. I was gonna say, I don't think I've died yet in this game playthrough, but I guess I did when I was facing the giant kraken. That's a buy. There's the giant kraken. I, I don't count that. That was no real death. That was a fake death. Actually, you know what I'm noticing? I, yeah, I think my, uh, my strength meter is actually refilling slower with this. So, weapon, so that would be the one downside, even though my strength went up. So maybe that's the other thing about it. when you gain your strength, it makes your strength meter go up faster depending on your weapon. It won't, uh, hinder you as much. Ah, alright, another ghost. Another ghost that just actually disappeared through the wall. Uh, I'm okay with that. That, that's not gonna break my heart. Alright, uh, and you can see through here the water. And I, I forget, but I feel like you can actually see one of the secret areas through here. I always think I wondered what those were, those little floaty things. I felt like there was something there. Maybe there's not a secret. Maybe I just always thought there was and there wasn't. That's probably the case. Because it's just a window out. It's kind of nice, because I guess these, these areas do kind of get a little bland. So it kind of adds a little bit to the fact that the wall is sort of just a cluster of colors. Oh, there we go. Check all the graves, check everything. I was just double checking again and found a night sound. So always good to recheck things and check everything in. Uh, I already had a night sound equipped apparently. Whatever, I can sell it. Still good stuff. Still good news. Alright, we are actually, uh, once I get through, I think that's going to be the end of this let's play. I was just warning you guys because I've been going for a while here. But I gotta finish exploring an area once I'm in it. That's the key. I just didn't realize how long this was going. You try to block it, but you can't block the battle hammer. You can't block it, it's coming for you. Even the ghost can't block it. 
Oh, apparently, but he can dodge it. He's probably a dex build. Ah! Ghost! I hate you! Three hits, at least. Three hits. Ah, those ghosts. Seriously. Alright, what's in here? Oh, Phantom Rod, or whatever. So that's gonna help us check for secret passages if we want. So I don't even have to, I don't really have to do what I'm doing. I wonder if they ever place them, because I never really use them. But I do wonder if they place them in areas where there probably is a secret passage. So you get incented to use it. And then that's what's gonna help you find that secret passage. Because that would make a lot of sense. I think we might be coming up to the East Village area right now. Uh, while well, we're at a save point. Which I will use in just a moment. I'm just really curious what's up top here. Otherwise, I would use that right away. Yeah, alright, so we are down at the, uh... We're down at the East Village area, so... Um, let's just make sure there's no... No, um... Secret passages here, because there might be. Just because of that drop-off, I want to double-check so I don't have to come back through here. Not seeing any, so... Alright, cool. What we're going to do is drop down, we're going to lower the bridge, and we're going to go save it. And that will do it for this. What if I drop down with an attack? I'm going to drop. That'd be awesome. Drop down with a battle hammer swing. Ah, that did not work, but it was still awesome in my mind. In my mind, that was really sweet. And that's what matters. I wonder when I'm going to have enough health to drop into these pits and check out for secrets down there. Because then I can just warp out now. Alright, so East Village is going to be this way. I believe the East Village is over there. Once again, like I was saying, you need Harbine's Fluke to get across this bridge to my right. So, uh, getting lots of arrows. So this bridge is going to be Harbine's Flute. I'm going to go ahead and raise this drawbridge on this side. And now we, can, now we have this path open to the East Village. I wonder if uh, something changes with Sandra and his mom. Uh, wow, this area was very random. There's absolutely nothing in this room. Maybe it's one of those rooms that the fortune teller appears in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of curious now. Whatever. Alright, cool. So, East Village is behind me. We'll check it out later. Uh, maybe we'll do in this let's play. Or, our next let's play. Or we'll go to the, um, Pirate's Bay. So I'll, th I'll think about it next time we play. And we'll jump back on it. But lots of good progress. Made it through the termite's nest. Opened up the area to the East Village. So definitely making things happen left and right, and I'm just going back to check in with Sander and his mom because uh, I just crushed it. Just crushed it, opened up the East Village, made some things happen. So Sander and his mom, what's up now with them? I wonder how Gigi's doing, no new dialogue from them. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's important to you, but one crystal miner told me that there is a bell which can find the crystals. Really? I didn't, I actually didn't know that. Gigi's father sometimes goes to the big mine to find crystals. I heard that's really dangerous there. Ooh. Foreshadow. Foreshadow. People here go to the big mine for Necron, so we don't have to worry about food, but... Alright, so this is all apparently a big plan of Necrons to get everyone to mine crystals for him. And then he provides food and shelter for them. And apparently daylight. I wish we could all live in peace and quiet. And the big mine is super dangerous, which is why she's a widow. Widow. So finding out a little bit more about Necron, it sounds like his plot is to get everybody to work for him. And uh, he provides food, daylight, shelter, but um, at what cost? At what cost? That is the question. So, alright, going on our way to save, and that will wrap up this let's play. So guys, uh, thank you again so much for joining me this week. And let me pull out my key, because we don't need it there anymore. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save the game, and I will see you guys next time. So, see you later. Thanks for joining me. Tell me what you guys think. Peace.